Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and today I'm here with Justin Bua, also known as Just Bua, the artist. How are you? Good, formerly known as Just Bua. Just Bua. Just Bua. Mm -hmm. And why? Everybody gets my name wrong. Mm -hmm. Every single person. Anyone that calls me Justin will eventually and 100% call me Jason. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it sounds similar, doesn't it? No, because I don't look like a Justin. Okay. I wasn't born a Justin. I was misnamed. It was all wrong. <laughs> yep. So my mom messed up from the beginning, and so just call me Bua. Mm, easier. Because my name's not Jason. It's Justin. Or Bua. No, easier. it's not even Justin. It's Bua. <laughs> so tell me about this. And by the way, when Justin Timberlake came out with the name Justin, that kind of ruined it, and then Justin Bieber destroyed it. Yes. So this is my book. Mm-hmm. And that's one of my images that a lot of people know. It's the DJ, uh, you know, best-selling poster image. And, uh, Is it? That's cool. Yeah. And um, why would people know that? Why would they have seen? Because uh, it's omnipresent. It's mm -hmm. everywhere. And, and you probably have it on your wall right now. <laughs> and so when you say everyone's got it, you, like, you sell printed... Yeah, it sells at Target, posters, Prince or? Plus, you know, yeah. Bed Bath & Beyond, Burlington Co. Factory. Mm -hmm. Australia, whatever Walmart is in Australia. Kmart, probably. Yep. Is Kmart mm -hmm. in Australia? Is Walmart in Australia? No, well, it's Walmart owned, but it's called Kmart in Australia. Okay. Yep. So, Target? Mm -hmm. Not Australia. Yeah, we have, okay. we have Target. So, there you go. So, probably from there as well. Yeah. And just prints of your work? Yeah, or? I just have, I have posters, yep. and I do a lot of commercial work as well, but a lot of posters. Yeah, and um, so people can buy them on your website as well, or you yep. just sell them on, on jasonbua.com, they can get it. I mean, justinbua.com, they can get it, uh, for sure. Mm -hmm. And can you explain um, why, the, why the cover one is your most popular, or why you would think? Well, when I first did that painting, my distributor at the time told me it was a terrible idea <laughs> to do uh, anything or hip-hop. I was doing a lot of jazz imagery. Yeah. And I said, no, it's going to be amazing. Just give me an opportunity to, to do this because that's what I love. That mm. was my world. I was a professional break dancer. And Were you was, really? Yeah. Okay. I, I, was a, I was a graffiti writer. And he was like, you know, it's a horrible idea. It's not going to sell. It's terrible. You're going to, it's going to fail. I said, give me a shot. He did. And it sold literally hundreds and thousands overnight. Cool. That's because really people great. can relate to that. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and where are you at now with your paintings and your work? Do you create regularly? All the still? time. Yeah. yeah, I'm still painting. I'm doing an online school at Buba Art School. And what's that entail, online art school? Uh, it's launching July 16th, so Buba Art School is going to just be a place where you can study with me one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. online. So you can be in Australia and be studying with me online. Cool. And do amazing. you do that via Skype or...? Uh, it's all going to be classes that you download and then okay. there's going to be something called a video exchange. Yep. So if someone shows me the work, I'll be able to do a video and give, and give my response to mm, them. That's great. And actually draw on their drawing and help them. And it's a really interesting online community. The way of the world now, isn't it? All Absolutely. I taught at University of Southern California, USC, mm -hmm. for many years. Yep. And I can only reach a certain handful of people. So now this gives me access to the world. Exactly. And um, I also, you've got you've got a few hats that you wear. I do. And um, but I have a full head of hair, so I try to not wear no. it. <laughs> and one of the things Justin has just um, let me try is the Bua Bar. The Bua Bar. And tell me about this. Why why is it so great? The well, it's the best ever because I uh, I have grown up with horrible taste, mm -hmm. so I was addicted to uh, candies. I'm not even going to call it chocolate, I'm going to call it candies like Hershey's, mm -hmm. Mounds, Milky Way, Snickers, yeah. Butterfinger, all of that stuff was my thing. Yeah. And um, For a lot of people too. For a lot yeah. of people. And yeah. every time I ate like a raw vegan bar that mm -hmm. I knew was good for me, it just didn't, get, it didn't satiate me mm -hmm. like those crappy bars did that have all yeah. those artificial flavors and colorings. So I was like, I have to create something that tastes amazing mm -hmm. but is good for you good. so I cracked the code and I dialed into the Bua Bar mm -hmm. tastes so good it should be bad <laughs> old school flavor new school nutrition this mm -hmm. actually has only six grams of sugar organic vegan mm -hmm. cane sugar mm -hmm. that's good. not sugar that's run yeah. through bone chard yep. and organic mm -hmm. and 
as opposed to like, you know, Hershey's, which is like 26 grams per mm, serving. Wow. So, you know, if you look at stuff like the sodium content, it's zero. Mm. It's zero. So it's all organic, all raw, all vegan, all fair trade, bean to bar, mm -hmm. and it tastes very good. It tastes very so good. milky. Very milky. Yeah. Which was key for me. I've never had a. I've never had a chocolate that is so creamy. Mm. So when people eat this, they're like, "No, that's not possible. It's mm. it's got to have milk in it." I'm like, "No, I'm serious. It has yeah. no milk in it whatsoever." And where can people get this at the moment? Online? Uh, they're gonna be able to get it at theboobar.com. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, if you're in LA, you can get it. If you're in Australia, you really are going to have to starve. <laughs> or no wait way. for a while. Or wait for a very long time. <laughs> Maybe forever. No, hopefully we'll get it out there. Really, I mean, it's important to get out to the, to the world. And I've seen parents go crazy, like, this is the only chocolate that my kid loves. Mm, that's great. So it's really cool. And tell me, why did you become vegan in the first place? Uh, I became vegan because I went to a raw food retreat with uh, David Wolf, and mm -hmm. he kind of like, turned me on to all these different foods and I never ate like these crazy bushes that I later learned were called kale mm -hmm. and this really wacky uh, you know grasses which is like you know lettuce mm -hmm. and I was you know just not really eating anything like that. I did it because I was vain and narcissistic and, mm -hmm. and you know the animal thing didn't hit me till later and then mm -hmm. I started to read you know Fast Food Nation and Mad Cowboy mm -hmm. and Food Revolution and Diet for a New America, yeah. and I started to dial into documentaries like Earthlings, mm -hmm. and I was like, "There's, you know, you know, I thought I loved animals, but I don't even really, you know, I don't even know what that means." Yeah. And so now, it was just a whole new rebirth. It was a renaissance of mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. life. Good. And I thought if I was, I was really hip hop and I was against the grain, yeah. that is really synergistic to to really what the philosophy of hip-hop is. Mm. If you want to be against the grain, you want to be truthful, you want to be honest, you want to be different and revolutionary, then really veganism is, is your thing. Mm, definitely. And how long ago since you 17 years. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm yeah, about the same. But I'm, I'm starting to die from a lack of protein right now. Oh yeah, I can tell. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, never mind. I just... <laughs> and um, tell me about, you also follow a mostly raw diet, can you tell me about the benefits? Well, I, I, I was raw for a year and mm -hmm. I did feel way better, yep. I felt way more buoyant and bouncy and spry. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not raw anymore, I do have vices like coffee, mm -hmm. uh, but I just feel better when I do more raw. Yep. I, you know, it's, it's not like a I'm mostly raw thing, it's like when I do more raw, I personally feel better. Mm -hmm. You know, it just works for me, you know, I notice like if I do you know, bread and rice, and I do a lot of it, I kind of just feel like, mm. and you know that feeling. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And then when I do more raw, I just feel like, mm. Mm -hmm. like fluid. Fluid, good. No. And talking about raw stuff and talking about David Wolf, he's a good friend of yours. He's a great friend. And together, you two have launched um, Immortal Machine. And I've got some here. And how does it taste? And it's very good, thank you, yes. Thank you. So tell me about the process from you know conception to now uh, I was just like working a lot and I was like talking to David like dude we need to create something that's like a drink mix because I was addicted to Nestle's quick and you who my entire youth and I want to create something that tastes like a you who and Nestle quick without milk without you know any dairy any GMOs soy corn all organic and superfoods is that possible he was like oh of course I was like mm -hmm. really so we went back and forth, taste testing over, you know, he would send me a recipe and I'd be like, oh, it tastes crappy, oh my God, and he'd be like, dude, how about this? And David's taste buds are so sophisticated mm -hmm. that something that tastes great to him wouldn't taste good to me because yeah, I exactly. wasn't as healthy yeah. as Dave. So we just went back and forth until we really dialed into that kind of unique, creamy, milky uh, flavor that had that consistency of that Yoohoo or that Nesquik. And that was this, and it was all on superfoods, no mm. sugar at all, just stevia. Yeah. And you don't really, because I don't like stevia, so you don't taste the stevia. No. You don't. It just kind of gets like in that. It just for whatever whatever we kept doing, adding this, taking out that, a little mm. bit more sea salt, a little bit more maca, a little less cacao, maybe more hemp protein, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden we came out with this crazy amalgamation of this formula which is really this kind of like a mortal machine formula yeah. that I do every day it's something that my daughter does every day mm -hmm. and it's something that kids love yeah. so it's different it doesn't have that a lot of the vegan stuff is a little sandy or a little mm -hmm. grainy or it doesn't taste good but this actually tastes delicious 
And can you tell me about some of these ingredients here that people might not know about? Well, you know, I mean, to me, hemp, you know, hemp is just really uh, the most bioavailable and hyperallergenic uh, protein that's out there. Mm -hmm. and, and really, like, it's, it's all how we respond to it. So for me, I respond really well to hemp. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like I feel strong. I feel energetic. I feel like I can digest it as mm -hmm. opposed to other proteins where I just feel a little wonky, like mm -hmm. rice protein, pea protein. For me personally, it doesn't feel like it's. I'm, I'm actually absorbing it, mm -hmm. as where hemp is much more uh, bioavailable for my body. So that's one of the ingredients I really love. Obviously, Himalayan sea salt is one of my favorite salts. Mm -hmm. uh, that and David's Icelandic sea salt. Oh, yeah, you're talking out, about before. Which is mm -hmm. amazing. Um, you know, I think that. You know, once again, I said stevia is is usually something I don't like, but this this kind of organic stevia extract mm -hmm. is just really delicious, mm -hmm. and it's really it's relative. It's like a painting, you know. Like you can have too much red, but if you have a nice green to complement mm -hmm. it, all of a sudden the painting takes on a different thing. It starts yeah. to cool down a little bit. So everything is relative. So I think we have all of those relative ingredients that taste really nice. I think that. You know, the Ariba Nacional cacao beans are amazing, and Dave's always had the best cacao. And Dave's actually, you know, really the guy responsible for bringing cacao to the States on a big level. Mm -hmm. He was the first guy to get it into Whole Foods. He was wow. the first guy to get, like, maca introduced, goji berries mm -hmm. introduced. People wow. weren't di dialed into any of these things. Mm. So we just had a lot of these superfoods uh, really kind of put into this that taste delicious Good and, together. yeah and then and what it was about really just some of random. the other ones that you know some i can't even pronounce some yeah of like ashwagandha is like you know like these there's some crazy herbs like mm -hmm. that and they're just chinese herbs that david was like you gotta try this and mm -hmm. i'm like yeah i'm the ignorant guy i don't yeah. know what it is but yeah. it tastes good yeah. you know so it was more that you know it was it was more like that um and so together, all of these things that are in it, what what do they give you? What are the benefits? They, you know, it, for me, once again, i got to just trust my intuition. And, mm -hmm. and for me, it's like it makes me feel really good. It makes yep. me feel really strong. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people come up to me and say, I don't even take, uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't take anything in the morning. I don't take any kind of supplements. I don't have any mm -hmm. food. I just do your drink as a meal replacement. That's mm -hmm. fine. If they want to use it as a meal replacement, mm -hmm. cool. If you want to use it just as a post-workout drink, that's what I do when I go to the gym. I just come back and I just I have like two cups of this as a post-workout drink. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I add coconut water. Sometimes I yeah. add almonds or hemp or something. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's really how you feel what you want to use it for. I have people who have fasted on this and yeah. said I, I feel amazing. Well, mm -hmm. You know, for me, that you know I like to just incorporate a lot of different mm -hmm. things, but it's really one of those things that. Uh, the combination of David's knowledge and my terrible taste buds, mm -hmm. it's a perfect marriage. Worked well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, you can get that on David's website. What's, Lo what's that? Longevitywarehouse.com. Okay, cool. And uh, David's got a lot of amazing products up there, including his new Icelandic sea salt, which tastes really delicious and super mineralized. But uh, Immortal Machine is, you know, it's, it's that product. It's that good. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's weird. Cheers to that. And um, good luck with all of your ventures then. Thank you. You've got a lot happening, so I hope it all goes well. And thank you for taking the time well, out to speak for, to us today, Justin. Thank you mm -hmm. for giving it to me. And um, see vivalavegan.net for more interviews with inspiring vegans.